Are we facing disaster after all? NASA experts had actually given the all-clear for the asteroid Apophis and calculated that it will just miss us in five years. But now, in the context of a new study, Canadian astronomer Paul Weigert has come to the conclusion that the 350-meter-large boulder could still change its trajectory and take an unfortunate detour. But how likely is it that Apophis will collide with a smaller object and then set its sights on Earth? What would be the consequences of this worst-case scenario? And if it came to that, would there be anything we could do to prevent an impact? On June 19, 2004, astronomers Roy Tucker, David J. Tholen, and Fabrizio Bernardi gave the world two things. On the one hand, the knowledge that a previously unknown asteroid was orbiting out there, and on the other hand, full-blown media hysteria. The celestial body, christened Apophis, immediately made headlines as a supposed killer asteroid that will come dangerously close to Earth on April 13th, 2029, a Friday the 13th of all things. There is no question that the name of the 350-meter-wide space rock does not bode well. After all, Apophis shares its name with the ancient Egyptian god of chaos and darkness. And even leaving aside all the ominous designations, the first assessments by NASA experts gave cause for concern. According to these, the impact probability in December 2004 was estimated at 1 in 37, or 2.7 percent. To put this into perspective, this is the highest value for an asteroid of this size that has been reached on the Turin risk scale to date. And indeed, the corresponding impact probability at that time not only referred to the year 2029, but also to the years 2036 and 2068. We probably don't need to mention here what the media response was in the face of these forecasts. But today, 20 years later, the journalistic and astronomical tempers have long since calmed down again. And as a result of detailed follow-up studies, it's now considered impossible that Apophis will crash into Earth in five years. Well, unless something unforeseen happens in the coming months and years that undermines all mathematical considerations. But more on that in a moment. What is certain, however, is that the impact of Apophis would probably not conjure up a global apocalypse, as did the asteroid that brought the end of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, because the object is simply too small for that. Unfortunately, however, it's also clear that the consequences of a hit would nonetheless be enormous. According to the researchers, the impact crater alone would be several kilometers in diameter, and the force of the collision would be great enough to devastate an area the size of Central Europe. Specifically, the scientists suspect that Apophis would release the energy equivalent of 900 million tons of TNT in the process. By comparison, the little boy atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima on August 6, 1945, had an explosive force of only 15,000 tons of TNT. And although these figures are both impressive and frightening, the energy of the hypothetical asteroid impact would have to be 100 times greater to destroy the entire surface of the Earth. Experts generally assume that the immediate kill zone would have a diameter of 250 kilometers. However, the exact impact consequences would depend primarily on where the asteroid crashes to Earth. If Apophis were to crash into the sea, it could bury the nearby coasts under a monster tsunami more than 100 meters high. And there, as well as in the flat hinterland, it would kill countless living creatures. Could Apophis hit Earth after all? The good news, however, is that as things stand, what we have just heard is just an unpleasant thought experiment. As already mentioned, past trajectory observations indicate that Apophis will narrowly miss Earth. The word just, in this context, means a distance of 32,000 kilometers. So, in 2029, the asteroid will pass below the geostationary orbit. However, the all-clear regarding an impact comes with a small but perhaps crucial caveat. Apophis will only pass the Earth if its trajectory remains unchanged. The probability of a change in orbit is low, but not zero. But that's not all. In fact, astronomers have determined that the asteroid is currently in the process of changing its orbit. The radiation pressure of the Sun is shifting it by about 170 meters per year. Fortunately, however, this shift is not enough to direct Apophis 2029 towards Earth. 
Unfortunately, however, it could lead to a collision during a later passage. And there is also some rather unpleasant news. Even the best current projections cannot rule out the possibility of Apophis being hit by a smaller asteroid. Canadian astronomer Paul Weigert from the University of Western Ontario explains that such an impact could transfer enough momentum to fatally divert Apophis. NASA's DART mission impressively demonstrated how a celestial body can be diverted in such a scenario. As part of the mission, the DART spacecraft took on the role of a flying, battering ram and thundered onto the surface of the 165-meter-wide asteroid moon Dimorphos. But while this literal, diversionary maneuver was nothing more than a cosmic test alarm, such a push in the case of Apophis could possibly have serious consequences. When it becomes dangerous for us As already mentioned, the deflection of the asteroid was recorded in 2020, and in view of this, one might think that the experts would be well advised to keep a close eye on Apophis. And that's exactly what they would do, provided they could still see the lump. In reality, however, Apophis has been out of our earthly view since 2021, and it will not move back into it until 2027. This is for the simple reason that the asteroid is currently moving close to the Sun, making it invisible even to the most powerful telescopes. So what happens in the meantime is uncertain, and we won't know to what extent it has changed its orbit until a maximum of two years before its flyby. Fortunately, direct observations are not the only way to assess the risk of deflection. Using a model simulation, Paul Weigert has analyzed what exactly would have to happen for Apophis to pose a danger to us after all. The astronomer's first task was to determine the potentially dangerous size of the battering ram asteroid. Earlier studies had already shown that Apophis's orbit would have to be shifted by about 200 kilometers to allow it to enter the next keyhole. This in turn refers to a small zone near Earth where the Earth's gravitational pull would deflect Apophis in 2029 enough to put our planet in its crosshairs when it next arrives in 2036. And if you think it would take a full-grown colossus to guide Apophis through the keyhole, you're mistaken. In fact, a collision with an object just 60 centimeters across would be enough. Such a collision would change the asteroid's speed by around three ten-thousandths of a meter per second, paving the way for the necessary shift of 200 kilometers. The conditions for an impact in April 2029, on the other hand, are somewhat different. For this, the change in speed of Apophis would have to be about five hundredths of a meter per second, or, in other words, it would have to collide with an object about 3.4 meters in size. For us inhabitants of Earth, it is somewhat relieving that the mere collision alone would not be enough. In addition, the impact would also have to occur at a very specific time and with the appropriate direction. On Probabilities and the Potential for Insight There is no question that this is fundamentally possible, but how likely is it? Well, in this regard, Weigert points out that about 140 60 centimeter wide objects hit the Earth every year while there is only one object with a diameter of 3.4 meters. Converted to the significantly smaller cross-section of Apophis, this means that the probability of the asteroid entering the keyhole as a result of a collision is one in a million. The calculated probability of an impact in 2029 is even lower. According to Weigert, this is one in 100 million. And taking into account that only 5% of the hits of a 3.4 meter wide object give an impulse in the decisive direction, the corresponding probability drops even further to less than 1 in 2 billion. As we can see, the risk of an impact is very manageable from a purely mathematical point of view. But if, against all probabilities, the asteroid does come into close contact with the Earth, our number games will no longer help us. And since this scenario cannot be completely ruled out, it's all the more important for the experts to measure Apophis's trajectory as accurately as possible again from February 2027. When it comes to our field of vision, a deviation of more than a few tenths of an arc second could indicate a disruption to its orbit. But according to Weigert, this does not necessarily mean that the asteroid is on a collision course with Earth. Nevertheless, further investigations and analyses would be prudent, and in fact, the researchers are already in the process of developing a small satellite to accompany Apophis during its Earth passage. 
After all, we should not forget one thing. Despite all the calculations, Apophis also offers experts a huge potential for knowledge. Since an approach of a chunk of this size occurs only every 100 years on average, the passage also offers scientists the rare opportunity to study a near-Earth asteroid up close. And the same applies to you, by the way. As soon as Apophis enters our realm, it will reveal itself as a small glowing dot in the evening sky. And now you can easily make yourself known with a little click. Press thumbs up and subscribe to never miss a new video from us again. We'll see you soon.